seems that uh, every time I leave my tarp up overnight, I will uh, have a considerable amount of slack in my ridge line, in, in the uh, tarp ridge line. I just can't account for it unless, uh, what do you call that stuff, seeing it stretches overnight or something like that, relaxes a little or something. So uh, this is also a way to get around. My wife is sort of uh, not challenged, we'll say, and uh, all the other devices that, you know, aside from probably the uh, Dutch flies, uh, anything else I've ever tried requires some sort of wrap and a half hitch and a slippery this and a twisty that with um, With this little chunk of bungee you just run it through a beaner and a prusik And she doesn't have to tie the prusik so I'll put them on her line and then they're always there you just slide them to fit the uh, scenario and uh, Pull it set it tight you know it's a set it and forget it sort of sort of event so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna give this a try for a little while see if uh, see if I like it tight. under a load I suppose um, another Prusik just going right to the tarp on a crossed same deal on the other side there's a little deflection in uh, the original position probably no more than I used to get uh, when I would use some other tensioning device here um, also I might add you don't necessarily need to have it doubled like I do you could probably get away with a single but I just like the tension it gives me that way. And uh, so now I'll take this tarp down and uh, we'll see what happens to the ridge line after we've uh, taken it apart. Traditionally. All right, so here it is after taking the tarp down. And I would say it is a little looser than it was uh, beforehand. What I didn't do was put a mark on here. Yesterday I was playing with this and I was marking the line to make sure my prussics weren't slipping. This doesn't have a lot of tension on it. But uh, I would say that it's tighter than what I normally end up with after an overnight. So, uh, like I said, it's something we're experimenting with and uh, we're going to keep trying it. See what, see what happens. 